Hey guys, this is uh, Jack from Candy Country Reptiles. We're going to do uh, cut clutch five today. This is a big clutch. My, my biggest clutch in the incubator so far. This is 12 eggs from a big, huge 3,800 gram vanilla female. And she was bred to a fire lace male. So we're really shooting for a bunch of lace vanilla creams. Um, so let's see if we get lucky and hit three or four of them in this clutch. We'll take a look and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Egg one. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, that's that's lace, fire, or vanilla. I'm not sure which one. Don't know if I'll be able to figure that out, even until you breed it. But you can see those sides. I guarantee that's lace. Um, so that's a good start. Lace is a pretty cool gene for those of you guys that don't know much about it. It's like a highlighter gene, but it does some crazy stuff to the sides. And the super form is even... Uh, cooler than you know the co-dominant form um, I'm planning on doing a lot with lace in the next couple years still a lot to be done with it I um, mean I got lots lots and lots of ideas coming up in the future with it so we'll stay tuned for that uh, again I see the head right there the head stamp that's fire over Nella they, they both have a head stamp. Um, might be able to tell better once it comes out of the egg. I'm not really seeing lace on that snake. Um, but it'll be kind of hard to pick up. We'll have to take a better look once it comes out of the egg. Hopefully we hit some... I'm really shooting for the vanilla cream combos. Um, let's see what we get. Okay, egg number three is, uh, I think that's got lace on it too, and it's fire or vanilla again, still haven't hit the, hit the cream combo, statistically I think, uh, what is it, three, three out of the twelve eggs should be vanilla cream. And hopefully we get lucky enough and get one or two of them to have lace on it. Let's just see if we get lucky. Okay. Egg number four. You can come right out and say hi. Uh, not sure if that's lace or not. <coughs> I could just, this might just be a lace by itself. Not 100% sure. I mean, it's hard to pick out the gene with the still in the egg because it's a subtle, it's a subtle gene. It's a cool looking snake though. I will say that, nice and bright. Okay, egg number five. And I'm not sure what that is. Can't see the head. Um, probably fire or vanilla. But again, not 100% sure. Don't know vanilla creams though. It's kind of what I was shooting for. What do you know? What? I'm wondering how you will know. What will it look like if it's a vanilla cream? Like right away you would know for sure? Yeah, right away. Okay. It's a 
It acts like a super, so it looks a lot like a super vanilla. The head's gonna be really blushed out. Brighter, yeah. like lighter. Yeah. That's, again, cannot see in the head. That's, I'm gonna guess, fire or vanilla. Um, I don't know, I'm assuming this, the female is a vanilla. Well, we will have to see if we completely missed. And now, I'm not sure about the female. The male I trust the genetics on, I guarantee that's fire lace. Female, I'm not 100% sure on. Water is a vanilla. I'm going to say that one's got lace in it. But uh, I can't see the head, so I don't think it's... I don't think it's a cream. So... Let's see. Still got five eggs left. Um, I said statistically three of them should be cream, so they still could be in here. So let's see what we got in this egg. I don't think this is cream either. Nope, not cream, can't see the head, but I mean, it doesn't really look normal, so. But the fire and vanilla and even lace by itself, if you don't know what you're looking for, can come across as a pretty normal. So we'll see, we got four eggs left. I mean, it's hard to tell the genetics, like I said, inside these eggs, unless we hit the cream. If we hit the cream, I would know it's definitely a cream. Some of these I think I can tell are lace because you can see the sides right off the bat. Uh, and it's a couple of them we saw the head and the head stamp. Not sure what that is either. Again, with only being able to see a little piece of the snake and not the head right off the bat. So. And you're saying it's hard to tell if it would be fire or vanilla because they're going to look quite similar. Yeah, and they're going to look a lot like a normal. Just got to look at that head and see the head stamp. And a fire and a vanilla have similar head stamps too, you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. they're in the same allele, so they act like a super. So if you breed them together, that's why you make the vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. Whereas fire to fire will make the all white snake and the vanilla to vanilla makes a very blushed out, erased head, and super vanilla. And then there's an, the in-between is the vanilla cream. That I'm not, I can see the heads down in there, but I'm not, again, 100% sure what that is. So I'm starting to doubt that this female is a vanilla. She might just be a funky looking normal, or I have absolutely terrible odds. <laughs> she was bred before? Yeah. But not to anything that you could discern what that she was? This was your yeah, chance to try to a, tell if was, she was? This would prove for sure if she was vanilla or not. But not successfully, this isn't proving no, yet. Not, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm wondering, I'm going to say she might not be vanilla. She could just be, she's got a really strong head pattern, like a vanilla would. Um, but, not making the combo, and that's not a cream either, so I'm not sure. What to think of that female. So sorry guys, this clutch wasn't as exciting as I was expecting it to be. Um, we'll have to look at them when they come out. Did any of them look like normals right off the bat? It's hard to tell. Hard to tell, yeah. I mean, some of them could be... I mean, it's, it's just very difficult. There's... I mean, you see a couple other heads... Here sitting in the egg, you can see the head stamp in the back of that guy. You can see the head stamp here on 
this one, so I'm going to say they're either fire or vanilla. But now not knowing if the female is a vanilla, these could just be fires, and then there could be some normals in here too. So, I don't know. We'll have to take a look at this clutch and figure it out. There's definitely some lace stuff in here though. I definitely was seeing a couple that were showing pretty strong um, lace indicators, which is cool. Hopefully there's some girls there, but kind of disappointed that this female I don't think is vanilla and kind of got... I don't know, hurt hurt on the, the clutch because I wouldn't have done this pairing if I knew she wasn't vanilla. But You know, that's the way it goes. We can try to prove her out. I was hoping she was, and I don't think she is now. So, um, you know, I don't know what else to do. We'll try her, try her next year with something else, and maybe I just got really, really bad odds. But um, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you want to get into the lace jean, um, let me know. I have this clutch here, and I think I have three or f three other clutches with that could have lace in it as well. So, still to come. So, I'm gonna have I should have plenty of lace babies available here soon. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you know, let us know. I'm gonna watch for the follow-up video here in a couple weeks.